Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay So I welcome you all to this third live session which is the last live session for this course <coughs> titled psychology of stress health and well-being uh, <clears throat> so this is uh, the last live session so the idea of all the live session is that if you have any queries any doubts you can ask here so that we can you know face to face kind of we can uh, discuss with each other okay so <clears throat> Abhishek Jain uh, is asking, uh, good evening, sir. I have skipped my assignment nine by mistake. I didn't receive mail of that. Is there any possibility of giving that assignment again or any other options? Uh, Abhishek, I think <clears throat> you don't have to worry if you have missed just one assignment because in the final exam, uh, out of 12, best eight assignment scores are taken and uh, average some percentage of average of that is taken in the final score. So if you have just missed one assignment, it will not be of any problem. Because out of 12, best eights are taken. So that should not be a problem. Uh, Megav Jain is asking, sir, uh, will the exam questions come from assignments? Yeah, a few questions from the assignment will be there, but I mean, it will be around 10-15% uh, something. Remaining question uh, may not be directly from the assignment. So there will be many questions which are outside the assignment. So don't think if you just do all the assignment questions, uh, that will be enough. So there may be many questions which are not in the assignment and so on. So just, just go through all the modules. Questions will come from all the modules. Go through the lecture notes and uh, also, to understand, if you are not understanding anything, go through the video lectures and uh, you know, hear the explanations and so on. Uh, Gorang Joshi is asking, hello, hello. Uh, sir, can you please es explain emotional freedom technique? Emotional freedom techniques, what do you mean by that? I mean, <clears throat> so directly I have not, uh, in this course, I have not talked about any specific technique that is called as emotional freedom techniques. If you have anything more specific, can you just explain it to me so that I can answer your question? Emotional freedom technique means what? You have some kind of suppressed emotion that you want to get free from that. In what sense are you talking about emotional freedom techniques? Uh, Megav Jain is asking, sir, will the exam questions come from assignment? Yeah, few questions from the assignment may come, but don't expect you all the questions. No, it may be let's say 15%, 10 to 15% questions may come. Uh, Tokoyo is asking, sir, can you uh, please suggest how can we learn all the notes easily? I mean, there is no shortcuts for learning things easily. The only thing is that you just try to understand the concept. Since this exam's question, you will not have any subjective questions. So you don't have to write elaborate answers for any of the questions. You, you have to just recognize the right options in the multiple choice. So try to understand the concepts, major theories, and few names of some, let's say, major theorists and so on. Uh, so I think you will be able to answer because uh, if you at least know the basic ideas related to anything as concepts, then you will be able to recognize the right answer in the questions, in the options that are given. It becomes much more difficult when you have to write subjective answers, you know, then you have to remember all the concepts. Here the questions are uh, multiple choice. If you just understand the basic concept, if you have some idea, if you have gone through the notes, you'll be able to answer those questions. 
So you have to give time a little bit. So there is no shortcut. So read all the notes as much as possible. Understand if you are not understanding, go to the video lectures and see how it is explained and so on. So I think there should not be a problem. Pranjal Baskarji asking, uh, sir, I missed assignment and due date has gone. How can I get the course certificate, please? Sir? Have you missed all the assignment? So if you have missed few assignment, then it should not be a problem because uh, in the final exam, best eight out of 12 assignment are uh, considered. Some percentage of that uh, best eight average score is taken in the final exam. So if you have missed few, there should not be a problem. But if you missed all the answer script, uh, all the assignment, I don't know, then there may be a problem. Arushi is asking, uh, is the exam pattern same as assignment, MCQ only or very short or one line can be there. So Arushi ji, the exam pattern is, uh, the questions will be very similar to assignments. There will not be any like short questions or long questions where you have to write elaborate answers. All the question will have four choices and you have to choose the correct answer. So that will be the pattern of exam. Anita T is asking, sir, does brainwave entertainment help in stress reduction? I think you have asked it in the Google form also. So, so uh, some of the thing uh, that are that has been found to be helpful in stress reduction, although I have not directly discussed these things in the course. Um, the concept called biofeedback, where you know if you can use some instrument and kind of it amplifies some of the biological functions. Let's say your heartbeat. So in some of the biofeedback machines, if you just put it, your heartbeat will become much more amplified. Amplified in the sense the sound will be much more. You'll be able to hear them very clearly. So you can kind of become conscious of functions which are unconscious. Like heartbeat, you don't, don't have control. But the moment you become conscious because you have some instruments which is amplifying the sound of it, then slowly, slowly you can consciously kind of control some of these things. So a lot of these stress indicators like heartbeat increases and so on, skin resistance and so on. Using biofeedback, we can control to some extent some of these biological markers, which ultimately can indirectly help you to reduce stress and so on. Um, so, but the problem is you need instruments and so on. So, um, uh, so a lot of these biofeedback techniques have been found to be helpful in stress reduction and things. But the only problem is that you know it cannot be generally available to everybody. So this instrument may cost you a lot. So, so this is not a solution for mass level. You know, if people can afford that or some people may have it, then it can be used. But obviously it can be used to for stress reduction or kind of regulating emotions and so on. Pranjal is asking, sir, I have missed more than eight. Uh, then I really don't know. So you have to you just ask this uh, support that NPTEL IIT Madras team. They will be able to kind of if you have registered for exam, I think if you are getting the dates and so on, probably you are allowed. But I think it is better you clarified from the IIT Madras team whether you will be allowed to sit in the exams and so on. So if you have received uh, exam uh, kind of uh, kind of you know, details about exams and other things. So there is an email ID that is shared in the portal. Support and PTL IIT Madras, support and PTL at IIT Madras, IITAM.SC or something like that. So you just write to that email and uh, just ask whether you know, what will be the situation in this particular case. Because this all these things are controlled by IIT Madras team. So as an instructor, I don't have any control with, to give you access to anything or to change your deadline or change you know extension of deadline i as an instructor we don't i don't have any control over any of these things so these are completely controlled by other teams uh, my my thing is only that uh, you know live session that i can be in the, this lectures that were done all the other thing uh, administrative part is controlled by the core team that is done no? and it is centrally kind of controlled by it madras team so it is better you ask them what will, be, what will be the situation? You know? Sheikh Muhammad Abdul Rahman is asking, sir, I am an associate professor in English. 
I do my duties honestly, but my principal is never happy with my work. He always criticizes me. What should I do so that he may appreciate me? Uh, Abdul Rahman ji, I mean, this is a kind of very personal question. Uh, I don't think it's right to talk about a lot of these things in the open platform. Uh, but you know, you may have your own version of stories. Your principal may have his or her own version of stories. So the thing is sometimes tuning, you know, you are not able to tune with the person. So sometimes things go out of the way. So the only thing is that you try your best and try to cope with the situation and uh, you don't have full control over others reaction. You can only try your best to some extent uh, because you cannot do everything to please everybody. Only thing is that in terms of coping with such situation is that, you know, you try to try your best to kind of deal with the situation to the best possible extent, whatever job is situation, okay, because I don't know what is going on in the situation, so I cannot give you specific details of it. But how the other person is reacting, you don't have much control over it, you know. Uh, it depends on that person's uh, traits and psychological characteristics and so on. Mm. And sometimes some people simply don't like somebody, you know. So unka reaction is say Sometimes with time, when you show the patience and uh, the behave right way, other person slowly also changes. Um, so it may take time also. So only thing is that you have control over yourself. So you do your best. And uh, how the other person will react, you don't have much control over it, you know. Maybe with time things will change. It may not, may, maybe or may not be, I don't know. So the only thing is that in order to cope with such situation when you are you don't have any control over the outside situation, the best thing is to deal with your thing, manage your emotions and, and do your best, whatever possibility is there. In general, I can only talk about these things because without understanding all the details, you know, such personal situations and those things cannot be discussed here. But uh, you try your best. From your side, you try to cope with the situation as much as possible. Sometimes, you know, it takes time for the other side to change. So maybe you need patience. Sometimes, you know, whatever you do, other person may not change. You cannot also kind of, you know, you don't have control about that. What control you have is that you can change your behavior pattern. You can cope with your emotional problems and so on. You can find a safe way. And um, So this is the only thing I can say. So this is a very personal thing because I don't know every what is going on in that situation. Uh, Tokoyo, I don't know what is your name, is asking. Sir, what is the minimum uh, marks criteria in the exam? And can you please tell me the marks of this exam will be added in our college CGP? Uh, see, minimum mass criteria, so there are different certification program. If you go in the website of NPTEL, you will find sir, gold, silver, something like that. So depending on the scores, if you score, let's say 80%, so there is some kind of certificate. If it is more than 90, some other kind of certificates are given. So there are different you know, uh, certification program NPTEL have. You just go in the website, you will find it. So based on that, you know, you will get some kind of certificate. Uh, whether this exam marks will be added in the college CPA. So college CPA, I don't know, because if your college is allowing you to take NPTEL course as formal grading, they are allowing you formally. If your college is uh, obviously, then if you take that marks will be added. Uh, so it depends on your college policy. What is the college policy? A lot of these colleges, universities, they accept NPTEL courses and they give certain grades to those courses depending on the length of the courses. So it's a 12 week course, so maybe maximum three, three grades can be given or three kind of you know, uh, scores are given. So like the different scoring programs are there. So you have to find out from your college what is the policy if you take NPTEL course, how they are kind of accepting it and how it translates into the marks and other things. So every college, every university have their own policies. 
Chandrika is asking, sir, please tell the exam pattern and how it is conducted. So exam pattern, I think you don't have to worry and ask it again and again. It is very similar to questions will be very similar to what you have been used kind of solving in assignment. Similar patterns of question. So there will be question and four options. You have to choose the right option. So in the final exam, there will be 50 questions. Each question will have two marks. So in total, it is 100 marks. OK, so questions will come from all the modules. So read all the modules. Don't skip any module. Use hand lecture notes and video lectures for elaborate explanation and so on. You don't have to remember all the names of research scientists and those things. That is not required. Main, main concepts, main theories, some main theories, name of some main major theorist. All these things are important. So understand the concept because you have to take the right answer. If you at least have basic understanding, you have gone through the note notes, you'll be able to solve those answers. So questions are not that difficult. Anita is asking, so it is very individualistic based on feedback. This is regarding what you were asking. It is very individualistic. Uh, you are talking about what? So I am not able to understand. Are you talking about those brainwave entertainment thing? Yeah. Individualistic means what? I mean, if you can get access to those things, some of this biofeedback thing can help you to reduce stress. The mechanism that I said is that, you know, you become conscious of some of the unconscious biological markers. And uh, the moment you become conscious of them, you can have some control over them. So you can kind of reduce your heartbeat and so on. So all these things can be helpful. So all these things can be helpful. I'm not saying denying that. But the problem is, you know, can you get access to all these things? If you can get access to them, use them, no issues. There can be some individual differences also. Some people may get more benefit depending on the training of the mind and so on. Some people may not find uh, or may not get much benefit out of it. So individual differences is there in everything. So Anjana is asking, good evening, sir. Could you let me know if preparation, preparing the tech, <clears throat> tech notes and assignment helpful for the final exam? <clears throat> Taking notes and assignment. Yeah, so assignments obviously, you know, you'll, you'll get, so it gives you a kind of flavor of how the questions will be asked. Some question may even directly come from the assignment also. Some question, not all, some percentages. And, um, Obviously, uh, you have to go through the notes and understand the concepts, and then I think it will not be a problem. Uh, Gunbala is asking, sir, I have skipped my assignments. Can I do it? Can I do? Is there any option in the problem? I don't think that once the deadlines are over, they will allow you to do that. Uh, but if you have missed few, then it will, it will not be a problem because they take eight best quizzes out of 12. So if you have even attempted eight, it should not be a problem. Okay. Sheikh Mahmoud is asking, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sheikh Ji. Uh, Suruchi Kumar is asking, sir, everything, every time I think that I will ask an answer to the question in my class, but I fail and uh, not do this due to fear of disrespect or that my classmate will laugh and I overthink a lot, please guide. So Suruchi Pariji, I think this is um, a lot of people have this kind of issues. Oh yeah, no, you know, you have a lot of fear of public scrutiny. So whenever you are in any social situation, some people may have more anxiety and so on. Uh, so a lot of these coping strategies that we talked about in this course, so just kind of go through them properly and maybe some of the strategy that we discussed may help you a lot. 
sometimes it may be because of just we have too much of anxiety you know if we overthink too much and in actuality it is nothing you know but your mind creates too much of you know make a small problem into a big problem this is the nature of mind you know most of us do that like that so sometimes it is a very simple situation but your mind thinks if this happens if that happens so you overthink and create so much of alternate realities then uh, it becomes a problematic for you to respond to that situation just you know so so the thing is you know there are many coping strategies one coping strategy is about mental ways of coping if you look at it so there i have discussed how to deal with thought processes that are creating problems and exaggerate emotions how to deal with thought processes so those i have in elaborately explained how to deal with these things so there are many other techniques that we have discussed like you know mindfulness and so on all these thing can be helpful uh, so this fear of disrespect all these thing coming because maybe you are very sensitive so you think how all the time you are thinking how others are thinking so if you it is okay to think the how other will respond the thing is that if it becomes too much then it will be problem people will think anyway whatever they will think and people also forget but thing is that we make it too much such a big problem so let's say if you ask a question and if it is not a appropriate question so it is not very good question so what will happen nothing will happen what what, what is the problem so everybody you know is necessary it is not necessary every time you have to be the best and uh, all the time you have to ask the right kind of question all the time not necessary so just respond to the situation don't think too much about all these things sometimes a little bit of it is okay you that you, that also helps you to properly behave in the right situation and so on uh, but coping section you just go through it some of this thing can be helpful so sometimes it happens because some people are very sensitive you know so anxiety both hota hai and they become very sensitive about others reaction and so on uh, so uh, slowly slowly you because in physiologically body level anxiety level is very high so some of the techniques like mindfulness and other things can be helpful thoda sa usko kariye and then that that can be helpful yeah so anita ji is asking is fullness of brain wave so as i said okay some parts some there can be some individual differences in how it is beneficial for everything it is true some people may get benefit about something more than other people depending on the mindset of the people depending on their skills and so on so that individual differences will be there no doubt about it but you now all these things can be helpful provided if you can get these things whenever you need some instruments and all those thing you have to get them uh, but uh, a lot of this biofeedback thing, thing can be helpful <clears throat> okay so i hope you were able to kind of uh, understand most of these concepts so all these concepts are not very difficult to understand because these are all related to our daily life and so and try to understand them apply them so that will be the best thing yeah. so many time uh, just understanding concept itself is more than enough if you understand something you you are able to automatically you can apply it because understanding itself gives you insight about the importance of something most of the time we don't understand uh, key what is the importance of something then we cannot use them so a lot of these concepts has lot of applications uh, in our daily life so try to kind of <clears throat> understand them apply them as much as possible it will be helpful to all of you <clears throat> so <clears throat> if you have more questions you can ask so in the google sheet that was uh, given also um, most of the student were asking about this only question what will be the exam patterns question patterns and those things
someone also asked about is it same as assignment mcqs or there will be any line or short short answer type of question uh, and when we'll get the admit card and so on so all this um, so as i said you know there will not be any uh, kind of uh, only mcq questions only mcq questions will be there and uh, no short short questions or long question, no subjective questions. So you don't have to write answers for any questions. You have to choose the best option, right option in the given options, the whatever options that are given. So all questions will be MCQ only. Uh, Megav Jain is asking, sir, I don't find happiness in life anymore. Things that used to excite me don't matter now. Can you help? It just feels that heart has grown old. I always feel uh, at war. So Megavji, I think, uh, so this kind of question, it will be very difficult to answer generally without understanding your background and what is going on in your life. So <clears throat> if you are not able to kind of help yourself, then probably you can consult some counselors where one-to-one, -one, one, one need to kind of talk to you one-to-one in privately only, then one can understand what is happening, you know. So you may not find happiness for so many reasons, so many things that are going on in your life. So so it could have many reasons. So without understanding, without knowing all the background stories and what is going on in your life, uh, I cannot give any suggestions. Only thing is that I can only say ki, I have talked about various concepts, coping strategies, various happiness exercises. Just try to see if any of these things helps you or not. If no, nothing is helping you, then it, I think it is better if you take can take some professional help like counselors or some clinical psychologist. Then that person will be able to understand if you talk to that person face to face, then the person will be able to understand all the details without understanding your background, your story, your life circumstances. We, I cannot answer such questions. I hope you understand this thing. So you are saying there is no peace. So I'm really, you know, you know, kind of understand what what you are going through in terms of emotionally, mentally. But uh, in such open platform, we cannot directly talk about these things simply because I don't know what is going on in your life. Without understanding your life story, it will not be appropriate to talk about any things. Only thing I can say, just try to find out whatever things that we have discussed in the course, if anything helps you or not. Because we have talked about happiness techniques, coping techniques and so on. Just go through them, try to apply them, see whether it helps you or not. So Megavji, I think uh, the best thing is that, you know, take support from others. If you are not able to, sometimes our emotions and problems becomes too intense. Then I think it is it becomes very difficult to kind of self-help doesn't work. I understand when things are very problematic and uh, when you are going through difficult phases in life, emotions are very strong. Um, then it is difficult to do something on, on your own. At that time, it is better to take support from others. I'm not saying you just go to take support Professional service support le sakte ho, or take social support, good friends, people who understand you, talk to them. Uh, sometimes a lot of these things, sharing all the problems with others who can understand you. Don't, don't just share with just anybody. Uh, who can understand you probably will help you or not. Thura sa ho, no, the bari the all the kind of the burden of a lot of these emotions can, no, can at, at least it can become less and so. So take some support from other people, people who are kind of supportive, who are near and dear to you. You can also talk to some counselors and those things. If you are doing some kind of uh, techniques, some kind of uh, exercises, some kind of meditation, and if anything helps, just try it out. No? Best would be, you know, get some support from professionals and so on. 
Anita ji is asking, sir, could you please elaborate on how much hedonic adaptation can take over genes? So, <clears throat> so I think uh, kind of these things are kind of related. When you talk about genetic set point, we are talking about that you know a lot of things, emotional experiences, how we experience emotions. Uh, mood of the people. Some people are generally very. You know, they have positive mood, they experience more positive mood. Some people experience more of negative mood. Sometimes a lot of these moods and emotions are determined by genes. Not completely. Gene never determines anything completely in the psychological world. Physical world may determines everything, but in the psychological world, genes plays some role, uh, but it is not 100%. So gene can influence your general setup of mood, how generally your mood is. And uh, when you talk about hedonic adaptation, it is more of a psychologically how it kind of helps, but it could be connected to genetic setup also. That whatever you experience in life, sometimes something very good happens. But after sometimes you come back again to the, your baseline level, something very bad happens sometimes again, you adapt to them and come back. So psychologically, our human mind is designed like that. We adapt to them, which is good because if we don't adapt, then our life will be impossible to deal with. Let's say something bad happens and we are not able to adapt. What will happen? For the rest of your life, you will suffer. And it happens for some people. When something very bad happens, it takes a lot of time to adapt and so, so their suffering increases. Uh, but it is good that we are able to adapt. But if you are not able to adapt, then it will, it will be problematic. But then this also holds true for happiness also. Then you cannot remain happy for a long time because then again you adapt, you'll come back. So it's a positive behavior, negative behavior, but adaptation overall is necessary for survival. You know, Without adaptation, we'll not be able to survive. We'll get stuck in something. We'll not be able to come back. So it helps you to come back kind of kind of from whatever is happening and then you can focus on something else. So in that sense, adaptations are very important. So hedonic adaptation is very functional, but it can be obstacle for happiness because then happiness will not also last. We have seen that in our life, nothing lasts. You come back again. So one of the reason is hedonic adaptation, which could be also connected to your genetic set point and so on. Genetic set point is more of a biological mechanism. Hedonic adaptation is more of a psychological mechanism. But biological mechanism can influence psychological mechanism. In that sense, they may be connected also. OK. So if you have any more questions, you can kind of ask here. <clears throat> Injal ji asking, good afternoon, sir. How many questions will come in the exam and what is the time limit? So I think so there will be 50 questions, 50 multiple choice questions. Then the time will be three hours. Okay. So just try to understand all the basic theories and concepts. So I think you will be able to answer all the questions. Should not be a problem. <coughs> OK, so if you have if you don't have any more questions. Should we stop here? Angelji is asking, sir, till when will you get to know about the exam centers? I think you will get well in advance. 
So these things are actually, as an instructor, I don't have much in, I mean, kind of, all these things are controlled by, you know, the other teams. So instructor doesn't have any role in all these things. So I actually don't know, uh, but I think most of the information will reach to you through emails well in advance. So we'll be able to know. Only thing I think one mail came that all the exam dates, there will not be any change in the dates. So all the exam dates so will remain now. Uh, whatever dates were given to you, there will not be any change in the dates. For exam centers, I think you will get to know the appropriate time they will send you. OK, so. If you don't have any more questions. So I'll stop here. So I think uh, I'll just wish you all the best for your examination. And uh, I hope you will you have learned something from this course. At least few things that will kind of help you in your real life. And uh, obviously you'll get some cert certificate which can be also helpful in uh, whatever endeavors of your life. So I oh, all the best for your exam and uh, maybe we'll meet sometime again in some other courses. So I have few more courses. Uh, one course is related to emotions, uh, which is going on parallelly. Few more courses will come in the future. Uh, so maybe we'll meet again in some with in some other courses. Hope to see you all again and all the best. So bye. <clears throat>